Welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making today is a delicious double baked potato casserole. This casserole today that I'm going to be making, of course the double baked potato casserole, was shared with me by my childhood friend Charmaine and thank you Charmaine for doing that. So this is a delicious side meal. I guess you can have it as a main course if you want to. I can eat potatoes any time and so can Raymond. But if you're having a barbecue or you're doing some baked ribs or whatnot, you can have this side dish. And instead of just baking potatoes, why not boil them? Just peel them, put them into the pot and boil them and that'll be the first start of making these del this delicious dish. So let's get started. I'll show you how to make it. Okay, so what we got here is six potatoes peeled and we got them boiled. Of course, just use your judgment there on how long you need to boil it, maybe 10, 15 minutes. What I'm going to do now is mash these and then as I go, I will tell you the amount of the ingredients. And of course, we're going to need butter. Now the six potatoes, I had them cut in half because they were big potatoes. I used white Russell potatoes here today, but you can use whatever your favorite is. Normally you will make double baked potatoes by baking your potatoes first, but I'm going to speed up the, pro the process by boiling them. And we're going to be putting in two tablespoonfuls of butter. Mash that on in there. We're going to have a quarter of cup of cream cheese or as well. That'll be two tablespoonfuls. And pretty much all I do is just cut it in chunks like that. You don't need to melt it. Just put it in and mash it. Now Charmaine shared this one with me. She said that she usually makes this for a family and they'll have it with uh, pork chops and she'll do a delicious apple wedge sauce for it. But today we're just going to show you how to make the double baked potato casserole. Exciting. Now when I peeled my potatoes and boiled them I had put a teaspoon full of sea salt while it was boiling so I won't be adding any sea salt to the meal or the dish now except a half a teaspoon full of white pepper. You could use black pepper if you wish and just mix that on in like this with your masher. We're going to be using a cup of sour cream. If you can't use sour cream you could use plain yogurt. Also this is equal to 250 mil mils of um, sour cream or a small container full. Just mash it on in. Now Charmaine said that she usually uses a small tub, but I only can get the, the large tub today, so what I did is use just a cup. So I'm going to mash that on in there, and what I'm going to do next, I'm going to tell you the other ingredients. Now I got two cups here of shredded cheese. You can use as much as you like because we love cheese and you know if uh, if you run short on this amount you can always top it with more. But I'm going to put a half, uh, about a cup full in there first. I'm going to fold this in and what I also did was fry up six pieces of bacon and I rolled it in flour and I got that recipe on Bonita's Kitchen and I'll share that with you in the top uh, left hand corner. It'll tell you, share the link and then you can go right in there. It's called breakfast any time of the day. So what I'm going to do now is chop out my bacon. Now as you can see, just look how nice and crispy this bacon is. Now you can also pick up already the bacon bits that's already chopped but I like doing my own so pretty much all I'm going to do just listen to that crunch I can just sit and just eat this like that chop it up in nice small pieces and then we're going to put F in with the mixture and we're going to top F on the top of a double baked potato casserole just saying to Raymond, no, he can't have any of this because <laughs> I want every taste of this bacon for our double baked potato casserole. I want one little piece, please. See, I knew I wasn't oh, going to okay. be able to get away from it. 
any time that you're making bacon for any meal, make sure you make extra because you know you're going to eat most of it. So what I'm going to do is take half of this bacon, put into our mixture, just fold it around. We're going to put some green onions in here, and then we're going to put it in our casserole dish. Just look at those big chunks. Now, like I said, you can store by this, or you can make it yourself. I'll share that recipe with you. And then we're going to top in there some green onion. So we'll put some inside of our double bake potato casserole and we'll put some over the top. Now you, if you like onion like I do, you can put as much as you want. I got about two or three stalks here and then I'll put some over the top. All you need to do now is just fold all of this in together like this and then what we're going to do is bring in our casserole dish or our 8x8 pan, it doesn't matter what you put it in and then we're going to top it again with some more delicious ingredients. Now I hope you're following along to this point because I'm excited to show you this dish today and as well I'm excited to have some. I'm not certain yet what I'm going to have with it but probably we'll have a barbecue. It's a nice day for it. So I'm going to top this into my pan. Okay so now that's all you need to do there is just take it now and transfer it into a nice pan just to get it ready to go in the oven. Now this today is a serving for about six or eight people but if you want more because you like double baked potatoes and you want double baked potato casserole and have a lot you can just double this recipe and that'll be fine so just spread it out like this and then we're gonna top it with some more delicious toppings. So after you spread all the potatoes and the mixtures out, you're going to top it with some more of that delicious cheese. Now, <laughs> how nice is this? I got Raymond drooling back there, but I've managed to keep him away from that bacon so far because, you know, I don't know about bacon. Crispy and nice. Everybody just can't seem to stay away from it. So just toss that right over the top like that. And now I'm going to reach for my green onion. Now all I do with my green onion when I bring it from the grocery store or the market, I put it into some water, change it every day, put it up in my window or on the countertop and just let it keep growing because when you cut it down and you don't take the bottom layer, so you leave it like this, put it back in the water, take some more and just, and that'll keep growing. And we're just going to add now some more green onion and this is it, as good as it gets. Now this is how quick and easy it is to make this delicious double baked potato casserole. Now again, I didn't bake my potatoes, I boiled them just to speed up that time. And then also I had them already peeled so then I didn't have to take the skin off. What we're going to do, we're gonna put this in a preheated oven of 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 35 to 40 minutes. Remember everything in there is cooked. We just need it to start to bubble and get a nice golden brown and bring everything together. Now if you made this the night before and you want it for your supper the next day when you get off work, put it in the fridge like this, wrap it with some saran, some clear wrap, put it in your fridge, take it out when you're ready to bake it, take the saran off or the foil and put it in your oven. You don't need to put anything on top. Meet me back here when it's baked and I'll show you what it looks like. Welcome back to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to do now is reach for my double baked potato casserole and show you what it looks like. Now this is absolutely delicious and it smells amazing in here you guys. Now this is what it looks like. How delicious is this? Now really what you should do is let this rest for a few minutes just to let the potato settle down a little tiny bit. You certainly want to serve it warm but you know you don't want to uh, you don't want to be all mushy neither. So pretty much 
this is it you'll serve it with one of your your main course meals or you'll serve it on its own I'm gonna scoop up some now of course taking out the first piece is not going to be pretty but remember if you let it rest a little bit it won't be so mushy I'm going to take it up so you just pretty much now is just going to be the potato you're going to see there but then you got that nice crunchy top now just look how delicious this looks so pretty much that's all you need to do you need to take it out if you've got a nice barbecue I just got a cordon blue there today but we're gonna have a barbecue later and use and use up the rest of this double baked potatoes but if you like potatoes like us and you like a baked potato you're gonna like this double baked potato casserole I'm gonna have a little taste now and just tell you what it tastes like but of course you know what it tastes like but I just want to have a little taste Mmm, so delicious, creamy, that bacon, still got that little bit of crisp, and the taste of cheese, delicious. Two thumbs up. Thank you, Charmaine, for sharing this recipe with us. So I'd like to thank each and every one of you for joining us today to view this beautiful recipe that Charmaine, my childhood friend, shared with us for a double baked potato casserole if you like this recipe i'm going to share with you the the recipe below this link and as well as the subscribe button there so if you haven't already done so we urge you to do so and you'll see a new video we post every sunday you can visit us on our Facebook page, send us a message on www.bonitaskitchen.com and I'm also going to share with you the link to those crispy bacon that we use today for this episode. So thank you so much for joining us here on Bonita's Kitchen. From our kitchen to yours, you have a wonderful day. If you're visiting our beautiful province of Newfoundland Larbador, don't forget to check out the town of Carbonair and join us again on Bonita's Kitchen. Join us by the sea, a journey in culinary, always unlock the door. Bonita's Kitchen to yours, Bonita's Kitchen.